Hello, this is a video about some uh, lithium chargers that I've made on the cheap, very cheap. I've used some plastic scrap window uh, material and some solar cell tabbing wire, this stuff. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes there. Uh, so one set of holes on the outside for the bolt uh, that's the best way to do it on the outside obviously you can't put it on the inside because the wire is there then I've got some solar cell tabbing wire wrapped round goes all the way along <coughs> to the bottom and that's tied round there and then there's another bolt so basically this one is a dumb charger so to speak it's running off this And that is a 4.2 volt camcorder battery charger. So all that's doing is that's putting 4.2 volts to all those. These are the batteries I'm sort of recycling at the moment, trying to make a solar cell power battery. I've got quite a few here as well. So yeah, it's all good. So that's the first one. The good thing about having a dumb charger is that this charger it doesn't like it if you plugged in a load of or a 1s and it was averaged out at 2.1 volts or something that won't charge it it'll just report a low voltage error uh, if there's any way around that and anyone watches this video let me know but that's where these things come in handy because they'll just constantly put the 4.2 volts in uh, that's been on all night they started at they had about 2.4 volts on average so they've gone up so yeah, that's the first one then dumb camcorder battery charges a fiver off ebay maximum plug it into a normal power cord uh, crudely connect the positive and the negative and then there there's 20 or so charging in that one so number two is a similar setup i've got a clamp on at the moment but I'm going to change that because it, it works well with the bolts on the outside. And so yeah, the second one is, it, obviously it's exactly the same there, but it's connected up to one of these. So I had used a dumb charger to charge this up to 3.5 and then I put it on this charger. It's not picking up the numbers very well, but it's been on all night, so you can see... Uh, 853 minutes and it's still going at 1 amp 21,859 units so yes that's the second one is running off that they're about 12 quid off ebay that's running off a laptop power supply which is 3 quid and so that's all you need the power supply just obviously plugs into the mains and yeah the, these are a good bit of kit the third one which i wanted to try which is here i'm just gonna plug the multimeter in this one the third and final for now is at 3.67 volts that's just running off a standard 5 volt mains charger USB charger which I've just separated here again it's got the same thing with the solar cell tabbing wire uh, quite rather crude I'll be honest with you but it works so that's all I'm really bothered about so yeah that's number three so that's running at 3.6 that's been on all night they were you know, most of them were a two and a half about. So yeah, so I've got three lots on the go at the moment. That again, this one would be considered a dumb charger, which is useful because, sorry to bore you, but this charger won't play ball when you've got a load of batteries that are only two volts. So yeah, so we've got 20 in there on the dumb charger about 3.7 we've got about 15 or 20 in here on this one at 4.2 
and then we've got another 15 or 20 in this one at 3.7 so <clears throat> obviously it's quite a long winded process taking these all apart and snipping them and then but I will make some more videos about it but this is what I'm going to be doing for the next uh, week or so I suppose I've got another yeah I've got another load here to do so yeah sweet big up for the recycling and lithium iron shears solar cell stuff peace for now bye